If you haven't seen the new Korean film, Parasite, you gotta see it. The film is making major strides here in the US as well as the West. So let's talk about why Parasite is the new Korean gateway film in the West. These days, the hype behind Parasite knows no bounds here in the US. In fact, Parasite's emergence reminds me of another Korean pop culture export that exploded in the US just two years earlier, K-pop sensation BTS. After all, there's a lot of parallels between the two. Much like how BTS exploded in the West in 2017, Parasite exploded two years later in 2019. Parasite director Bong Joon-ho actually acknowledged the Parasite to BTS connection, although he admitted that BTS did so much more to expanding Korean pop culture to the West. I think he said about 3,000 times more. While director Bong is correct that BTS did a lot in the US and West for expanding Korean pop culture, he's also underselling Parasite's own accomplishments in the West. After all, his movie just won Best Foreign Language Film at the Golden Globe Awards, and that's a high accomplishment indeed. During his win at the Golden Globes, director Bong said to the audience, there's only one language, the cinema. And what he means by that is that he's referring to subtitles, that it doesn't matter if a movie is foreign or not, if it's not in say English or a language you understand, that with subtitles, movies are the only language indeed. So let's rewind a bit earlier and capture when did the hype for Parasite happen in 2019. So on May 21st, 2019, the movie was shown at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival. And the movie was so well received at Cannes that it received the Palme d'Or Award, which is the most prestigious award at the event. There was a lot of people that was giving it applause at the end of the film, and you knew the film would be something special. So as word got out at the Cannes that wow, this new Korean film called Parasite is just making waves, that more Western moviegoers got pretty interested in the film. The film was soon shown in select theaters here in California, as well as in the US. And from the moviegoers that did see the films at those select theaters, the word spread even further that, hey, you gotta check out Parasite. This movie is fire. So now you have movie fans here in the West that's buying into the Parasite hype. And then the movie's hype comes full circle when K-pop fans and K-drama fans start watching the film as well. Many of the moviegoers after seeing the film thought that this movie should have deserved the best film of the year. And that's high praise indeed. So we're moving on to the end of 2019 and the film has a lot of momentum now as it reaches the Hollywood ranks. Parasite. Parasite says. Parasite. Director Bong, Parasite's amazing. Parasite. You didn't even have to finish the question. You had a lot of American actors, producers, and celebrities just heaping praise on the film. Even former President Barack Obama praised the film as he said it was one of his favorite films of 2019. And I think one of the big reasons that President Obama was a bit more biased and liked the film even more is because of the Jessica Chicago doorbell jingle, which we'll talk about in a bit. Then after all the heaps of praise and compliments and just how awesome the movie is, here we are with the movie award shows calling for Parasite and director Bong. In addition to the Golden Globes award, the movie has won a slew of other awards and other award shows. And this movie can back up its hype with its incredible ratings on pretty much all the movie sites. You have a 96% on Metacritic, an 8.6 out of 10 IMDb, and an incredible 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. And these scores on these three aggregate websites, this show how highly respected this film is by both fans and critics. In fact, these three scores place Parasite in the top 1% of films. For instance, if you take Parasite's score on IMDb, which is an 8.6 out of 10, you'll see it ranked among the very best movies of all time, just the classic iconic movies. So if you haven't seen this film, you might be asking, so what's Parasite all about? Since this is a spoiler-free breakdown of the movie, I'll just give you this. The movie is about a poor family who are con artists that are trying to work for a wealthy family. So that's the very brief synopsis of the movie. But as you know from any good movie, it has its own wrinkles, twists, and secrets that you have to discover by well, watching the movie. The movie has several themes that resonate with the audience, and it just doesn't resonate with a Korean audience, but it resonates with a lot of other audiences, including Western moviegoers. The movie is a social commentary, a satire, and a drama packaged all in one. As the film hits on powerful themes such as greed and class discrimination. As for the film's genres, it's a mix of thriller, comedy, and a touching family drama. The film's cinematography is 
also another talked about point a lot with moviegoers, as you don't have to be a film student or working in the movie industry to know just how good the film's angles are. When I was watching this movie, I was paying attention to just how many angles the director as well as the film producers were just shooting. I was thinking, whoa, that's a really cool shot, or that's a cool pan shot, or that's a cool close up. And the film's angles added to the story even more. I'm just really into movie angles. I mean, there was more angles in this movie than a geometry test. Now we gotta talk about the Jessica Chicago, Illinois doorbell jingle. Now this jingle took Korea by storm as a lot of people started singing to it. Take a look for yourself. Now the meaning of this doorbell jingle is that Jessica, as a con artist, is trying to memorize her fake identity before meeting the wealthy family. And what better way to memorize something than a catchy song? The jingle went viral as it was spread all over social media, YouTube, and now you can actually download it. But a cool fun fact is that the jingle actually comes from the 1982 song, Dokdo is our land. It's a classic iconic song in Korea. And if you look in the comments here, a lot of people are mentioning the Jessica Illinois song. So of course, starring in a blockbuster video opens the floodgates and provides new exposure for all people involved. And that's definitely true with Parasite. And the biggest beneficiary is, of course, director Bong. I was watching some of the American media shows after Parasite went viral. Boy, was he getting swarmed by Western media. Everyone just wanted to talk to him. I saw director Bong on the Jimmy Fallon show and being featured on many Western magazines and media sites. But it's not just director Bong that's getting the attention. You have Park So Dam, who plays Jessica and would see her fame rise, especially in Korea, for of course the Jessica Illinois doorbell jingle. Korean Canadian actor Choi Woo Shik, the actor who plays Kevin, would be involved in two huge Korean blockbusters now, Parasite and Train to Busan. Legendary actor Song Kang Ho would add yet another blockbuster hit to his impressive movie career. Lee jong Un, who played the housekeeper, would experience major fame in Korea. Veteran actress Cho yo jong who plays the wife in the wealthy household, as well as Lee sung kun who plays the husband, got a boost in popularity, as Parasite was their biggest hits yet. And lastly, Jung ji so who's a former child actress and who played the daughter in the wealthy household, also had a big boost in her career as Parasite was her biggest film to this date. So what does this mean for Korean cinema? I'll tell you what it means. It means that Korean cinema is getting a lot more exposure. People that checked out Parasite and say Train to Pusan on Netflix will now be more encouraged to check out more Korean film. And these newly found Korean cinephiles need to look no further than director Bong's other films. Director Bong directed a slew of other smash hits in Korean cinema. He directed the iconic movie The Host back in 2006. He did Okja with Steven Yeun of Walking Dead fame. He did Snowpiercer featuring Chris Evans. And I just wonder in this film how they hid Captain America's muscles. And perhaps one of my favorite Korean movies of all time and one of the best murder mystery movies out there, Memories of Murder. Outside of director Bong's films, there's a lot of awesome Korean movies that you gotta watch. And I encourage you guys to check out Korean cinema as it's a unique new way to experience storytelling, acting, and culture. Another side effect of Parasite making it big is you had a lot more content creators make movie reviews on the movie. If you just peruse YouTube, for instance, you'll see a lot of Parasite Explained or Parasite Ending Explained movie reviews. There's a lot of analytical movie takes on Parasite, just showing just how much the movie resonated with Western moviegoers. Parasite also made a big splash on the top 2019 films of the year, as it placed number one on many critics' lists. But that's not all, because for the top decade, and remember, Parasite came out in 2019, the end year, Parasite ranked in the top five of many movie critics' top films of the 2010s decade. It's just mind-blowing how many film critics highly respect this film. And here's my prediction. I feel that Korean movies may be the new pop culture export of Korea in the 2020s. Because for the longest time, it was K-pop, K-dramas, then later K-makeup and K-food that were the biggest cultural exports from the country. But now with Parasite's explosion, as well as Train to Busan, I don't know, I think Korean movies is where it's at in the next decade. So what do you guys think about this video and Parasite? Have you seen the film? Have you not seen the film? Does this video want to make you watch the film? I'd like to know your comments in the comments below. And you guys know the drill. If you guys want real talk on K-pop, then please download my free ebook below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.
Take it easy, guys.